digital purchase order. This is a quick introduction to how to create a purchase order. To get started, please log into the system and select your corresponding PO book. Once you have logged in, you will see a button to create purchase orders on the left side. Before you create your first purchase order, please make sure that you have finalized all settings in the admin section. If you have not done this, you will not be able to send a purchase order. You can find the admin section by clicking on your email address in the upper right corner and selecting the Administration tab. If you are not an admin, please contact your PO book administrator. Creating a PO within the Digital Purchase Order software is quite simple. Just select your department from the drop-down list. Then, enter your supplier. You can either select an existing supplier or generate a new one, if your PO book admin has allowed that. To get to the next page, click Next. In this demo PO book, we have set up a user-defined field called Component, where you can select a job number. However, depending on your admin settings, you might see something different here, or there might not be a field here at all. In the last step, you can create your items. Simply click on Add Items and add an item name, a description, the quantity, the net price, and the currency. Depending on your admin settings, you might also need to add an account code and a budget for this item. Similar to the supplier section, you might also be able to select pre-existing items. In that case, DPO will autofill all predefined information. Once you've done all of this, you can add general notes or a custom delivery address to your purchase order. There is even an add-on feature available where you can upload any type of attachments to your purchase order. Finally, you can save the PO as a draft, or if you plan to recreate this purchase order more frequently, you can save it as a template. To finalize this purchase order, please click Create New PO. You have successfully created your first purchase order. As you can see, the system has assigned a unique purchase order ID to this PO already. One last tip. If you want to create an identical or similar PO in the future, you don't have to type in all the information again. Just click on the Copy button, confirm that everything is correct, press Create New PO, and you now have a new purchase order with a new purchase order ID. If you have further questions, please send us an email at support at digitalpurchaseorder.com or give us a call at 1-888-376-7254. We can also arrange a demo appointment with you. Simply contact us via email and we will schedule a call at your earliest convenience. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please also check out other video tutorials on the main tutorial page.